Hi everybody, this is Stephen from Brandigo again, and this is the latest video in our multi-channel marketing in China series. And today we're going to look at if there's still a place for traditional marketing channels within a modern multi-channel strategy here in China. And the short answer to that is, well, yes. Rarely will you go longer than a few hours without being exposed to a traditional marketing channel here, just like everywhere else in the world. But what we're going to take a bit of a deeper dive into is which of the five main traditional marketing channels are available to international brands to take advantage of here as part of their China marketing strategy and ultimately lead to some business growth. So without further ado, let's dive into that five. And the first one we're going to talk about is print advertising. Now, print advertising is one of the oldest, most traditional forms of marketing that we've got here. It goes back hundreds of years and probably was the basis of most marketing theory. You'll all remember looking back at some ads from the 60s, 70s and 80s. They're always fun to review. Now, with print here, granted, it's not as common. It won't be something you will use as frequently, perhaps, as you would have done in the past. But particularly if a B2B environment, there are some key trade titles, especially in niche industries for which print advertising is still a main marketing channel. You'll also find that very special edition publications, perhaps around some exhibitions or trade fairs. In our last video, we spoke about CIE. That's a good example. A lot of key trade media will have a special edition print version around CIE for their readers to, to tap into too. So these are all great opportunities to incorporate print advertising into your marketing strategy. So our second traditional marketing channel following on from print is broadcast advertising. And again, broadcast advertising is still very relevant here in China as long as you've done your homework. It's an incredibly expensive way to advertise. So you want to make sure that you are maximizing that opportunity by doing your homework, doing your insight research, making sure your content is great and is actually communicating what you want to communicate. Also these days, a lot of broadcast will include some sort of interactivity, some sort of CTA, a call to action that would maybe drive traffic to a, a social media platform or an e-commerce platform to expand that viewer journey, the audience journey towards an actual point of sale. And it's the same thing with our number three pick as well, display advertising. Again, everywhere you go, we are always encountering display advertising here in China, just like everywhere else in the world. But think about that O2O, think about how you can integrate it with other marketing channels that you're using to really maximize that return on investment. And again, what is the CTA? What do you want the viewer of that marketing to do? Where do you want them to go after they've viewed your messaging there? All of that should be planned out well in advance and incorporated into what you want to do. Number four is direct marketing. And again, direct marketing very much has a place here in China. Everybody loves to receive a piece of well-constructed DM that speaks to their wants and needs. So with the opportunities that we have for customization and personalizing that kind of content these days, you can create something really nice that really speaks to your customers' wants and needs, solving their solution and engages with them. Now, one of the challenges that we have here though, from a DM point of view is access to contact databases. Um, it's illegal to buy and sell contact details. So if you are looking to incorporate DM into your multi-channel marketing strategy here in China, you're going to have to make sure that you've got a very robust CRM system in place. And you've also gone through taking the steps to do some data capture to make sure that you've got a really good database of contacts that you can reach out to, again, to maximize your investments of the resources that you will put into that campaign. And lastly, we're just going to talk a little bit about telemarketing. Again, telephone marketing does have a place here. A little bit more harder to do, especially these days and especially in China, where most telephone use is now on a, on a mobile phone and a lot of people don't necessarily answer a phone number that they don't recognize. But if it's done well, if it's well researched, if you've got a robust database, it's going to be effective. Certain niche markets, perhaps older generation, it can be more effective than some of the more modern digital marketing and communication channels. So don't necessarily discount it from the off. When done well, it can work as part of a multi-channel strategy here in China. So there we go. I guess the, the, the question shouldn't be, should my marketing campaign here be digital 
or traditional. I guess the question should be which digital channels and which traditional channels am I going to blend together to make the most effective China marketing campaign that I can. If you've got any comments on anything that we've covered in the video, anything you disagree with, anything you think we've missed, we always love to hear from you. Just leave a comment down below and we'll always respond. Don't forget to follow us on our social media. You'll see all of our links at the end and drop us a line if you've anything to add. Thanks for watching.